Hi, it's Ashley and welcome to this video on interesting idioms. For being colloquial language, they certainly fit the bill in covering day-to-day -day conversation topics, ranging from food, mm, clothes, uh -uh, money, mm. and if in doubt for anything to speak about, we also have weather. Yes! Which brings us nicely to what actually is an idiom. Take its raining cats and dogs. We know that this is a non-literal phrase because cats and dogs don't actually fall out of the sky. And these phrases give immediate images of a situation such as heavy rain. Fortunately, we have bite-sized activities which lend themselves to warmers, extension activities, independent work, and group work. Across the range, learning begins with definition cards, sentence close procedures or gap fill activities, multiple choice cards which importantly check understanding of idioms because reciting is not enough, and finally we have picture stimuli cards which lend themselves to fun games and ensure the child remembers the exact language required. And here is how you could use these resources. Complete the sentence task or multiple choice questions could be easily completed within a guided reading session. After that, could children find similar idioms within the text they are reading? Elicit how new idioms may be recognised. Is the phrase literal or non-literal? And as the next step, new idioms can be shared across the classroom. We're teaching everyday language. So set aside time in the schedule for conversations and discussions. When idioms have been used correctly within a context, offer a house point as a reward and build that competition in. Don't be afraid to get into character, get on your feet and act out role plays using some of this target language. It provides lots of enjoyment, and that way the phrases become more memorable. And don't forget, these phrases can also be used at any point in the day as part of your routine procedures. The idiomatic phrases we have to offer you really do enrich vocabulary. Pull your socks up! This next maths problem puts your thinking caps on because it's quite tricky. Get ready for something enjoyable and get your glad rags on. Now, who can I ask to help with the weeding? Ben, have you got green fingers? She's feeling a little under the weather. What can we do to help her? These are just a few of my favourites. As well as using in real life scenarios, don't forget this vocabulary can actually enhance children's writing. Narratives can come to life with so much more vivid imagery, and they can be included within descriptive passages or direct speech. For example, the farmer had a face like thunder when he realised all his crops had been eaten by the ravenous rabbits. Farmer Jim, you'll have to take a rain check on that delivery. There ain't nothing to deliver here today, warned Charlie in a disapproving tone. Do you think I've got money to burn? It don't grow on trees. That's a whole season's work and I just... Don't know how I'm going to foot the bill. And with that, the struggling farmer fell to his knees. Once it is clear that these images are not literal, these idioms are accessible for all and provide enjoyable learning. A wonderful celebration of our English language. 